come for me. Woodward. And I think I've even recorded with you guys before. You guys are working on things in first grade, right? Getting better. Yeah, we probably did. And as teachers, we're always learning and growing and getting better. And Ms. Wilcox said I could come in here to kind of keep working on my skills to be a good reading teacher. And sometimes when we're learning, we reflect, we think about what we did. And one way teachers do that is I'm recording me teaching. It's not recording you guys yet. But then I can watch it later and I can say, what did I do a good job at? Maybe the next week and do a little differently. So I know it's a little distracting. So everyone, like, get out of your system. Wait for the camera. Mm -hmm. is it on? And now it is. And now I'm putting, like, an invisibility cloak over it. And even though I know it's so tempting to just want to look at that, we're going to ignore the camera. And how are you then going to show me your hand attention to me? How do you show me your hand attention to me? Where is your eyes see? about spiders, okay? We're going to learn where they live, some of the stuff y'all just talked about, where they live, what they eat, what they look like, okay? Their eggs, the silk they make, and the eggs. So those are the things we're going to learn about today. They so are creepy. They <laughs> might be a little creepy, myself. They're not creepy at all. Right? Luckily, these are all just pictures, so there's I'm no real spiders in They're creepy because, because I got bit two times with my legs. I want to show you guys. This book starts with a table of contents that tells us where we could go find the information if we wanted to go find the information. And then this book is organized by each section. It's going to give us a question. Like this section says, what is a spider? It asks a question, but then it answers the question. It tells us important information about it. So it tells us it's an animal and there's lots of different kinds. And then it's going to ask us, what do spiders look like? Oh, darn it. And then we're going to learn out, and these are some hard words. It's going to tell us that they have an abdomen, okay? And that they have abdomen. That's kind of a hard word. Everyone let's whisper say that. Abdomen. That's a hard word. Wait, what does that mean? It's the middle part of their body, okay? Ew. Then they have eight legs. We probably need that, and some of them have eight eyes. Then it's going to ask us where they live, and then it's going to tell us some live in a leaf, some can live in a corn. I know where some live. Some live in a house. Okay. Oh, then, one of y'all said that, it's going to ask us what they eat, and we're going to learn that they eat insects. Like flies. And that they can help eat with their fangs. And then, it's going to ask us why they make sick. Oh, I know. And we're going to learn about them making webs. They make silk to put like um to put their predators in there. And then they can ask them, do they lay eggs? And we're gonna learn that yes they do. And that the baby spiders, this is another hard word, get ready for it. They're called spiderlings. Everyone say that. Spiderlings. 
spiderlings. That's not very hard at all. I thought it was kind of hard. Like, kind of great job checking that picking. Just like wings. So just add. I want to think about this word, whole. Everyone whisper, what is the sound we hear at the beginning? The sound. What is the sound? And what letter do we think might make that sound? Everyone just whisper. H. H. Right. Now, this is the end of that word. Whole. What's the last sound we hear? Some words, especially when it has that long vowel, when the vowel says O, says its name, has that tricky silent E at the end. So now I want everyone to flip to page 9 really quick and see if you can find the word that matches those clues we were just looking for. Hold. Flip the page, and then you're going to frame it with your fingers. Show me your two fingers. Page 9. I found it. I just found it. Perfect. I like that you're framing it with your fingers once you found it. Great. How do you know that's the right word? Because it has an H and then an L. Did you find it? Yes. So what happened is you didn't see what you were looking for. Right. So it has that H in the beginning and then the L in the end. Now, don't look at your book. Just look at my face. Listen to the word insects. 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 What's the very first sound? Whisper the first sound. <laughs> Everyone whisper, what is the letter that might make that? I. Okay, now another question. Insects. Do you hear kind of a short word at the beginning of it? Insects. Yeah, I can hear you. N. Go and turn to page 10 and see if you can find the word insects. Looking for that word in at the beginning. And then break with the finger. Now I want to tell you your child. While you're reading, I want you to find unique facts about spiders while we're reading. So go to the beginning and start with the reading. Why did that trick you up, do you think? Uh -huh. And you knew that kind of aim made sense to you. But good readers make sure we get all the letters in the book. It's a good job fixing that up. That was awesome. <coughs>
Spider-Man heals the cell, and the egg Once you finish, you always go back to the beginning and they read. Some spiders use choose to show us an egg sac? Why didn't they like point and just say spider? Because mm -hmm. So maybe egg sac was something we're not as familiar with and we needed to learn so that we could show us that. Yeah, yeah we don't know about uh, that mm -hmm. and we don't know what it looks like. So but they we know what spiders, spiders look like. like. I think that egg sacs um, any of these pages because there's no, like, um, uh, words on it. And it shows, showed us a web because you know, some of us don't see webs. All the time, right? So how about this? How are spiders like us? And how are they different from us? Share with your partner again. Um, one way they're like us, one way they're different. Um, 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 they're they like us because they, um, they also live in the so they have homes, and they also they sometimes come into our homes. They have a body just like us. Okay, guys, come back. I want to tell you.
tell you guys something that I saw you guys doing as readers. You could actually go back to page 11 still. I saw you guys as readers, and there was a word you didn't know. Sometimes it's good to take the word apart one letter at a time, but y'all are getting to be really good readers. And sometimes it's helpful to chew them up a whole bunch of letters at once. And I saw three of them on the word fangs. Didn't know what it was at first. She came up with another word, but then she saw that. But then she didn't go a. Mm. She looked at the a and g s and knew that that just made an ang's sound. She put the whole part together, and then she just added that to the end. So she took the chunks of the word and put them together, and that a and then added those chunks together. And that is something that the great readers do. Now, I'm going to tell you something else that great readers do. Sometimes when we're reading, something makes sense to us, but if we don't have super careful eyes, we could miss a little letter or something. So, let's go to the first page of the book. Actually, it's not the first page of the book. Let's go to page four. Good job, guys. You guys can keep these books. Wait, have I 